Imagine this. You're sitting at your home, streaming through your favorite show, or working on your important project, or simply browsing through the internet. Everything seems perfectly fine, right? But what if I told you your Wi-Fi router could be a ticking time bomb, just waiting to be hacked? Welcome back to Cybersecurity Champion. In today's video, we are pulling back the curtains on the dangers lurking your home Wi-Fi network. You might be using Airtel, Geo, Act, or any other service provider. You might not be as safe as you think. In this video, we will expose shocking vulnerabilities and also demonstrate a real-life hacking attempt on the home Wi-Fi network. And most importantly, I'll arm you with all the important security tips that you need to protect your home Wi-Fi network. Trust me, you won't want to miss this video. First, let's dive into why your Wi-Fi network is a prime target for hackers. Think of your home network as a treasure chest full of valuable data. With the rise of smart devices, from phones to smart TVs, your Wi-Fi is connected to more of your life than ever before. But weak passwords, outdated firmware, and insecure settings are like leaving the treasure chest wide open. Let me show you how easy it is for someone to crack open your Wi-Fi if you're not careful. Now, for educational purposes only, I'm going to show you just how vulnerable your Wi-Fi can be. I'll be using a Python script to demonstrate brute force attack. Brute force attack is a method where a hacker systematically attempts every possible password until they find the correct one. It's like trying every key on a key ring until one opens the lock. The script will enter one password after another, essentially trying its luck until it gains access. This demonstration is strictly for education purposes to highlight the importance of strong security. First, I've opened the command prompt as an administrator. This is crucial because certain commands require elevated privileges to execute properly. As you can see, I have disconnected my computer from the Uday 5G Wi-Fi network. This is important to prove that the script will actually connect us to the network if it successfully guesses the correct password. As you can see, I have disconnected my computer from the Uday 5G Wi-Fi network. Here's a notepad file that contains a list of possible Wi-Fi passwords. This is a short list created just for demonstration. But in a real world scenario, the list could be much longer, potentially containing millions of combinations. This is the Python script we will be using to perform the brute force attack. The script is designed to try each password from the list one by one in an attempt to connect to the Wi-Fi network. Now let's run the Python script. As the script runs, it is attempting to connect to the Wi-Fi network using each password. This process continues until it either successfully connects or exhausts the list of passwords. The script has found the correct password and connected to the Wi-Fi network using Uday at the rate 1960. Now that you have seen how vulnerable a network can be, let's talk about how you can lock down your Wi-Fi. Whether you're using Geo, Airtel, or Act, here are some essential tips. Strong passwords. Why it's important. Strong passwords are harder to crack, making it more difficult for unauthorized users to access your network. How to set a strong password? Access your router settings, open a browser, type your router's IP address in the address bar. Common ones are 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.0.1. Login with your router admin credentials. Navigate to the wireless settings. 
look for a section named wireless or Wi-Fi. Change your Wi-Fi password. Locate the password or passphrase field. Enter a strong password that includes a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Also ensure the length of your password is above eight characters. Save your settings. Click apply or save to update the setting. Change default settings. Why it's important. Default settings like SSID and admin credentials are well known to hackers and can make your network vulnerable. How to change default SSID and admin credentials. Access your router setting. Follow the steps mentioned above to log into your router's web interface. Change the SSID. In the wireless section, find the SSID, which is the network name. Replace the default SSID with unique name that doesn't reveal personal information. Change admin credentials. Navigate to the administration or advanced settings section. Change the default username and password to something strong. Save your settings. Click apply or save to update the settings. Update router firmware. Why it's important. Firmware updates fix security vulnerabilities and improve the router's performance. How to update router firmware. Access your router settings. Log into your router's web interface. Check for firmware updates. Find the section labeled firmware updates or router update. Click check for updates. Download and install the update. If an update is available, download it and follow the on-screen instructions to install it. Restart your router. After the update is installed, restart your router to apply the changes. Use WPA3 encryption. Why it's important? WPA3 is the latest encryption standard and offer stronger security than WPA2. How to enable WPA3? Access your router settings, log in to your router's web interface. Navigate to wireless security settings. Find the security or encryption settings under the wireless section. Select WPA3. In the encryption option, select WPA3 or WPA3 personal from the drop down menu. Save your settings. Click apply or save to update the settings. Disable WPS. Why it's important? WPS can be exploited by attackers to gain access to your network. How to disable WPS? Access your router settings. Log into your router's web interface. Find the WPS setting. Look for WPS under the wireless or advanced settings. Disable WPS. Uncheck the enable WPS box or set WPS to off. Save your settings. Click apply or save to update the settings. Set up a guest network. Why it's important. A guest network isolates your main network, protecting your personal devices and data. How to set up a guest network? Access your router settings. Log into your router's web interface. Locate the guest network settings. Find the guest network section under wireless settings. Enable the guest network. Check the box to enable the guest network. Set a separate SSID for the guest network. Set security options. Choose WPA3 for the guest network encryption. Set a strong password for the guest network. Restrict access. Enable options like client isolation to prevent guests from accessing devices on your main network. Save your settings. Click apply or save to update the settings. In summary, Wi-Fi security isn't just important. It is essential for protecting your digital life. By understanding these vulnerabilities and following these simple steps, you can drastically reduce the risk to your network. 
Stay safe and protect your digital life. See you in the next video.